Bow. What's going on, people? Yes, I'm the man behind 007, and today we have a nice, juicy tutorial for everyone. Basically, what I'm going to be breaking down today is how I made this old school drill beat in the style of Sam's, doing a beat for Rosswish, Pop Smoke, Fabio Foreign, Rowdy Rebel, Bobby Shmurda. Some of the sounds are pretty old school. So definitely, this is a crazy beat. Let's get a crack at it. Let's get into this baby. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna go start, jump straight into the mel. So the mellow I started off with was a Nexus. This is some hybrid strings or whatever, very classical, old school, old school mellow. That's the whole purpose of doing these type of beats. They're very old school, et cetera, et cetera. Just kind of did it in my own twist. Basically what we have here is a G sharp minor chord progression. Really simple. All right, so I guess you guys got the gist of that one. G sharp minor, pretty straightforward. That one's pretty simple. Next one, we got like a small sort of like ambient voice. Following a simple chord progression over here. All right, you get the gist of that one too. Last but not least, a choir. Well, second last one. Yep, very straightforward. Next thing we got finally is a piano from Contact, Galaxy Pianos 2. All right, you get the gist of that. So basically render the, all those out, control R. Essentially what you end up getting is these kind of mills that I compacted together. Uh, what I've done after that, pitched these up by two, 200 cents or which is two semitones basically, however you want to call it. Uh, and what did I end up getting was this mellow. Very woo walk type vibes. You definitely could hear like a woo walk type thing on this. Per I mean, this, this is perfect for those type of old school beats or whatever. These are easy and very memorable, and that's in that way in that sense. But anyway, it gets right into the drum. So basically, we're gonna start off with our drill snares. These are pretty typical hi hats. You're going to hear those these ones all the goddamn time. Every time you hear one of these beats. So anyways, let's get on with it. First thing we got here is a sample guide drill snare. Really, the sound is just this. Straightforward. Really simple bounce. Actually, well, pretty unorthodox bounce considering what type of beat this is. But basically, I'm just gonna play for you. Yeah, so just change the velocity. Kind of really bouncy, really skippy. Experiment with it, have a listen to it, that's all. Uh, next we got is the Zaza Snare Cup. It's in my unreleased, well, it's actually been released. I have to re-release it because it like, broke down, but you guys are gonna see this snare back again. Did a little accent snare back just down here. Oh, not really accent snare, but just a lower pitch snare. Kind of just asked the beat. A little bit of a roll over here. You get the idea of that one. Next thing we done was a church bell. 808 Mellows kit. It's uh, one of his older ones actually really. So it's an old school sound. Just follows the A sharp minor chord progression that we have done throughout the whole mellow. So whatever you're doing, just try to make it key. Crashes. Goes with the kick pattern. That's the whole purpose. Yep, didn't really do that much to this one. Then we got the 808 Mellow 1. This is a very classic 808. This is something you heard in Rowdy Rebels re row, obviously. Uh, basically, that's just a simple 808. Normalized it. You don't really have to, but I went for it. Tack up 19%. Basically, that's what it is. We're going to play it. 
all these notes have to be in key in order for it to make sense with the mellow and with the whole beat. Another one. Another one. Sometimes it's funny that you could even sometimes go one note off key and it still sounds good. And sometimes that's just the vibes that you're just going for. You know, it just really depends. But very cool, very simple 808. Very nice. I like it. Uh, just kind of layered this all these sounds with a bang from the Yoz's Joe Illuminati. Usually goes well with the kick. Just add a bit of delay to it. Didn't really do, I don't think I really did anything to this one. Now that I remember. Let's see, no, didn't do anything to this one. Just leave it as it is. Uh, okay, this is the Radiant Phantom Kick. One of the most underrated kicks. I love this kick, mainly because of this small little delay. It's like, I don't even know if it's like a little delay, but it just, it just sounds extra better when you have this small little bit of room before the kick hits. It actually sounds a little bit better. You'll hear it in the mix. There's not really an explanation to it that I know of personally, but it's just the way I like to hear it in my mix. But anyways, usually kicks are distorted in these type of beats. I try to not overdo it, but you're gonna hear it just a tad bit. Let's go. So basically there's just a couple of kick rolls, velocity changes, even doing kick rolls are actually pretty interesting in these kind of beats. Definitely very useful, they're very essential. You're gonna notice as well that when these kicks and 808s are gonna come together, you're gonna notice how well these two actually gel, which is gonna create like a very nice punchy effect to the kick. And usually, why we usually use these sounds for the Illuminati bang is mainly because the, it adds a bit of high end to the kick and that allows the kick to punch better in the mix basically so that's just a little tip i guess if for when it comes to doing these type of things okay next thing it's just a simple chant let's go over here old school sound from yo nines kit very simple old school all right 504 in his favorite gunshot the bones i don't know if it's his favorite but he this is something they love All right, title perk. Next thing, it's just a little, it's just a little accent perk, just to put around here. Just a bit of delay. That's it. Oh, forgot to mention with the gunshot. Uh, not really much of a secret, but it's an envelope, obviously. So you're gonna hear has a little bit of like little thing, and then goes like that. Sounds good. And just go for the crash chant. Very old school sound. Yeah, you already know. And next thing we got is the FX staple. We all know that song. That's just that's just a classic right there. Woo back riser from my kit as well. Actually, it's a sound from everyone's kit, really, to be fair. But uh, next thing we got here is the Chicago riser. Bobby Schmurr's favorite. All right. Uh, basically, with all that being said, all the drums together without the mellows. So basically you could hear how that kick and that 808 sort of gelled nicely together. Nicer mix on this beat. Definitely these old school beats definitely require a big punch to it. Usually the beats are very distorted in sort of the sounds and sometimes it's not very pleasant to the ear. So I just kind of did my own type of mix on this one. So kind of elaborate on how you feel you want to make this beat. It's good. That whole beat is done. My tag is added over here. Uh, eight bar. Well, so to speak, hold up. Yeah, basically eight bars for intro, eight bar right here. Actually, this is really 16 really, so to speak, but if you just count like this, this will be eight, eight, whatever. So that's kind of how I arrange it. That's kind of how I arrange everything. And then this would kind of be considered four if you're like, the, if you're just kind of zooming in though, it'll be more eight, whatever. Uh, and then go back to hook, repeat, verse, repeat, same thing. Break down again, hook, outro, that's it. Let's play the beat now. So I just add caramels and the bells over here with the automation over here as well on the low filter.
we're going to the verse. A little bit of a drop over here. 808s and church, church ball comes back in. A little automation for me. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna release this full beat after this tutorial. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you guys really want a mixing, if you guys really want to show me some of the, if you want me to show you some of the mixing to these kind of beats or a double seven type beat, 5k views and 300 likes. I want to see you guys smash that like button. 300 likes. I know you guys can do it. I know you guys want this badly. I know you want to see more of what double seven does. So let's make it happen. Let's get those likes up. Let's get the views and let's make it happen. But basically, this is a beat, a woo walk type beat in the, in the style of Sam's. Axel even as well. Technically can make these beats too. And yeah, I'll sign off. That's double seven. Peace.